felt like vlogging the last couple of days, so I didn't. But I do have content that is old. So when you see something, it may be old, but it's still something that happened and that I wanted to share with you. So with that said, I went to church today. I went to the same church and it was a very good message, more or less about not allowing people to control your emotions and to be careful before you speak and don't let everything fly out of your mouth. Why don't you think about it first? Sometimes I don't do that. It just comes right out. <laughs> I met one of my friends there, a girl's mom who used to play AAU basketball with Bobby. Wait, where am I looking? Is it right there? Yeah, I'm looking right there. And so I met her at church and then I went to her house for brunch. But you know, I was trying to be cute and I only ate a little bit, you, you know. So I, now, I don't know, I've just been sitting in my car. It's 5.30 p.m. and I'm a little hungry. <laughs> so I'm about to go in storage and try to find something to wear to work for the week. And this outfit that I have on here, I'll show you some pictures here. I actually got that dress from the thrift store. I just love the flowers on it and, and it was oversized, it was flowy and it kind of worked with my little hat and stuff. So that's what I want. Oh, is my tongue a different color? Sharon Johnson, they're still in my car. I've been eating them and I did send some to Bobby. I sent Bobby a package because she asked for some Asian curry. So Sharon Johnson wanted to get something off my teacher's wish list, which is, there's still lots of things on there if you want to donate to my teacher's wish list. You know, it's never for me, it's for the kids. Uh, she got a whole thing of Jolly Ranchers. I've never had this bag before, so it has the sticks, lollipops, and the regular. And then I've been sitting here dipping in, dipping in. Watermelon is my favorite, I love the watermelon. Yes, no stereotype in, intended. Okay. I'm about to go upstairs to my storage facility and find clothes for the week. There are certain things you wear this week, certain colors. So I do know that tomorrow is red day. Then we had um, 90s day on Friday. So tomorrow's red day, but I wore red. So I'm trying to think what I can wear that's red. I really need some shoes, guys. I miss my sneaker heels. I saw some sneaker heels that I really like, but sister not paying $200 for some sneaker heels. They cute too. Uh, no, I don't think so. So I'm, I'm just terrible in the shoe department. So I always love a good heel, honey, okay? And so, I gotta find some, I know I have a red tutu. So I'm thinking that maybe I could wear my red tutu with my red Adidas pants. I don't know, I have to go see. Hmm, and I need to see what other colors that they want us to wear next week. So that's what I'm about to do. So come with me to pick something out and it's getting kind of late and I do want to eat because I am kind of hungry and I don't know the meal that I keep going back to is the meal that I made at the beach that steak baby that steak was good it was good <laughs> and I just keep thinking about that steak and my, baby that was good people keep asking well why don't you just get an apartment because that's not what I want to do I thank you for the suggestion it's just it's I, I'm living a car life and it's like once you live it and it becomes part of a regular routine you just fall into the routine is um honestly eventually I wanted to travel so my goal was to travel and do things but I find that it's a little more challenging when you have a job so if I wasn't working the job, then of course I will be traveling more. So I don't branch out that much because it seems like I always have stuff to do. Oh my God, I have papers to grade. So I don't know. So I'm thinking about going to this little park, but it's getting late. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I don't know. And sometimes when I'm at school, it's a little easier because I have a little mini fridge. So if I do have something, I just, you know, pick off it all week and I just leave it at school 
but I, I'm kind of, it's like I'm, I'm hungry. I did eat at my friends, but <laughs> I was a little polite. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know, those who know me know I can eat like a dude. And food is my weakness. You want to get to joy? Talk about some food. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm a glutton for punishment. I just love food, food, food. And so, uh... I'm hungry, but it's getting late, and then I need to do my hair. So it's just like it's never enough hours in a day. And then on top of that, I never do what I have planned in my head for the day. And so I didn't plan on going to my friends for after church meal. But she says, I know you had things. I said, that's okay. I said, sometimes when things aren't planned, those are the best little gifts ever. Or it could be i'm bad too but you know in this case it was a good thing so as i was saying it's like people like well why don't you do this well why don't you do x y and z it's so easy for people to tell you what you should do despite what your original goal was my original plan like i was saying before sorry i got off track my original goal was to travel but i realized being local is not as easy drive somewhere really far and then have to be back at work at you know monday so how feasible is that so the other goal was to save money so i can help my girls more but the money and the savings is not the same my bills and stuff just shifted someone else told me and i know i don't have to talk about this i do know but just chatting with you guys someone else mentioned oh i need to take care of my finances okay i do to a certain degree <laughs> so you know i have bills i have car insurance my car insurance is almost a thousand a month um health insurance um i'm paying almost 2500 dollars not for the month for the year and then i have life insurance i take out money for my life insurance then i take out money for retirement so it's just the money just goes different places and and it has shifted around so now i have a gym i go to a decent gym because if i'm chosen to sacrifice to live like this i'm gonna go to a decent decent gym and then my storage if I have anything left over, then I help the girls and then I pay everybody's cell phone bill. And I don't even want to begin to tell you how much that is. So the bills do add up. And with my car insurance almost doubling, I wouldn't have been able to um, sustain a lot of my previous living. Once again, once you live in this lifestyle and live with the minimum amount of things and I wanted I just felt bogged down with things I just didn't want the things anymore although I do have a storage filled with things <laughs> but um I may be downsizing that again so I'm working on a new idea so we'll see what that takes me so I'm just trying to get it together little by little and I will say it's a little more challenging if I'm not being treated for my ADHD it, it um shows up in different ways and it makes it harder to do just basic things sometimes it, it does so I'm not going to talk about that again because I talked about it in a previous video but people who don't suffer from ADHD truly truly have no idea the challenges that um, some of us go through, not all, but you know, shows up differently for different people. And for me, just doing basic daily life things, it's, um, it makes it a lot harder. So like just making an appointment or doing something I'm supposed to do um, is different for the average person. It's like, oh, just make the appointment is a big deal. But for me, it's just, it's just hard. I just, it's just, it's just, it's just crazy. I, I can't. So if I do something, I'm like, oh my god, I did it! It's almost like the, a baby walking for the first time. So <laughs> like a huge accomplishment for me. So I'm trying, I'm trying, 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 and I'm trying, you know, find a doctor. But I did look it up. But <laughs> then I think I was distracted. So anyway, let me go find something to wear for this week. I just wanted to talk about that because it's just it's just annoying sometimes. Like, why don't you do this? Why? Because it would make you feel comfortable if I was doing something that is normal. I don't know. Maybe I'm going through a life phase where I just want some adventure and something crazy. So like when I had a car breaking attempt. It was scary and it was exciting and someone got mad because I said it was exciting. For me, it was. It was scary. It was both scary and exciting. 
It was. It was like, I guess you just, I live a life and it's just, just so normal and mundane that just to break up that monotony was just made it so exciting. <laughs> I know it's crazy but i do um park somewhere else now that's a little safer and there are people um who watch me so you know and i feel very comfortable there um, so but i still wear my surroundings i'm still not you know not paying attention and all those things all right let me get out of here y'all okay let's see what i pick out for next week i'm gonna get to storage now i don't feel like doing anything I get sleepy now, but the show must still go on. <sighs> I actually have, I think I have two things in the car. Oh, let me show you my thrift store finds. I just picked them up from the cleaners. So my thrift store finds I think that's two little things. So it's always, I'm always trying to find five to six outfits and sometimes things that I can interchange. So my goal is only to come to storage once a week. So let's see, hold on. So I found this dress. I think she's cute. Of course, put a belt around it, of course. So I thought she was cute in the sleeves. I don't know how to do this phone stuff. Okay, the sleeves and stuff. I thought she was cute. You gotta gather that waist, honey. So I figured she would be cute with a little tutu underneath, right? So that's one. Let's put her over here. She's looking kind of churchy, but once you snatch the waist a little, Snatch her waist in. Honey, she gonna be cute. And then I found this, cu this cute little thing that would go with some cute pants underneath. And of course, since it's such a drop top, gotta do some, a t-shirt underneath. And of course, snatch the waist. So, look at her. She's cute. I love the sleeves. Oh, and it was defective right here. So, but I can easily sew that. And I have some needle and thread. I don't know where it is, but you can always pick up a kit. So, I thought she was super, super cute. And I love how she gathers down here, too. And just put it on with some cute pants. So, baby, that's two outfits for me. So I think I have this out. I have this outfit. I have this outfit. Let's go with this. And, of course, everything is always belted. It's a little sequins top. And then these little pants I got from Walmart. They're actually pretty cute. Plus some vegan pants, <laughs> vegan pants, and then I usually gather the waist, gather the waist, honey. See what she's giving, and I just love this little little top. She's so cute. This is the other outfit I cinched it in the back, so so you can idea. But when you have the tutu underneath it puffs out the skirt portion. And for this one, it's for red, for a red day. I think it's um, stay away from drugs. And then I'll also put up my hat and my little jacket in the back. So this one is fun, 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 fun. She's cute. And then some of you wanted to know where I get dressed um, I get dressed different places and it depends what the previous night has brung. Sometimes I get dressed in a car and then I finish at school. Sometimes I get dressed in the morning at the gym and I go to the gym in the morning. Um, and sometimes I'll get dressed at school. 
So it just depends on what's happening, how I'm feeling. Um, I'll pick and choose where I'm going to dress for the day. So like I said, it's a combination of the three. <laughs> that was four outfits, but I think based on all the things I have here, I could swing another outfit or I just grab a jumpsuit. I really don't really like wearing jumpsuits because going to the bathroom is a challenge. But I can always come up with something else from the pieces that I have. And as long as I have a pair of black pants and a miscellaneous top, I'm good to go. And I do have another pair of black pants in the car. I have a black pair of pants here. And I have some miscellaneous things, t-shirts or whatever in the car. So, um, that's how I pick my outfits for the week. And if I'm desperate, desperate, then I'll just you know come back here which isn't too far from um where i stay all right y'all so thanks for hanging out with me and watching my little process again until next time